Shane from Marasi News TV here reporting on day two of Adipec 2018. Uh, as you can see behind me, there has been major participation from huge key players, uh, both regionally and internationally so far. Beside me is engineer Shamis Al Dahari, the managing director of Ali and Sons Marine Engineering Factory, the leading shipyard in Abu Dhabi, and one of the major competitors in the UAE. First and foremost, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. How are you doing? Hi to Shane. It's a pleasure as always. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Um, so first, could you please elaborate on how the company's vision and work philosophy reflect the latest industry trends that are going on in the market today? So, um, uh, as you can see with the uh, droppage of uh, oil prices since 2014, uh, the major challenge has been is how we can provide, still continue providing services to our clients at the uh, right uh, prices and uh, it has been a challenging journey and thankfully because of changing and consolidating uh, our uh, structure our organizational structure becoming more agile uh, fast decision making we were able to uh, secure several opportunities during this year and this is our philosophy and moving forward is working hard towards providing the best service at the highest quality and at the prices that are affordable, affordable towards our clients. And uh, I believe that's what we uh, spoke about uh, in our previous interview with uh, Marasi, and we continue to move forward with the same strategy. Uh, the good news is uh, since we met last time, there has been uh, uh, an announcement for the approval of SPC of 486 billion uh, dirhams of future investments. Uh, they call it uh, ADNOC 4.0, which is basically increasing the production to 4 million barrels. And this is definitely uh, something we can participate in, in terms of serving the industry, serving our uh, major client, ADNOC, and providing them with the best uh, services. Awesome. Um, could you give us a brief overview on some of the company's recent accomplishments uh, and successful projects specifically with ABB? So, um, I don't know if you know, but we do issue uh, quarterly newsletters within uh, Allianz Sons uh, Holding. And honestly, sometimes when I look back between one quarter and another, I see a lot of things happening that, uh, that uh, makes me quite impressed with the success of our team. And the achievements you are able to do in such a short period of time because a quarter is not a long period it's just 90 days and within these 90 days when you look back you notice that a lot of things have actually happened now on the offshore and marine side uh, we have been uh, successful in completing several overhauls jobs uh, for uh, ad hoc drilling we've just uh, completed uh, last month october the uh, overhaul of one of the rigs of uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, sorry, Adnoc drilling. And uh, we're so proud of that achievement uh, and we hope to continue supporting our client. We've been able to uh, bring a lot of uh, services and products to the industry. And as you rightfully mentioned, we have secured uh, another major e-house job for uh, BAB Integrated where the OEM is, or our ultimate client and user is ABB. And uh, this job, we're doing it together with, uh, with Todzi, our partners, and uh, we're so proud of this achievement. How does this ABB project add diversification value to your business? Well, uh, it creates an industry that uh, is demanded, uh, an industry that is the future, because the, uh, the e-house is basically the modularization of uh, electric and instrumentation units. So um, in simple terms, instead of building it in the traditional way, you're building the full units in a factory. And there are uh, very limited capable local companies that have the ability to execute such work. And thankfully, we've done, it, we've done it before in a smaller scale, and now we're doing it in a much bigger scale with, with uh, our partners. Um, to what extent does the company implement effective strategies to make operations more efficient? 
good question. So what we do is we do a uh, check and balances continually within the organization. And one of the main things we continually work on is looking at ourselves, challenging ourselves, raising the bar, and finding ways how to basically open up our mind. Nothing is impossible, everything is possible. The question is how you can do it. What's the best way to do it and the fastest way to do it? And that mentality and that mindset is a new mindset in the, in the oil and gas industry. And thankfully because of Adnox leadership and starting obviously from the country's leadership, which has directed Adnoc to and their leadership towards giving that agility to the industry, uh, where before everything was traditional, and now everything is like, show me what's new, tell me what's new. We want to move forward. We want new things. We want new ideas. We want to find ways how to optimize. And this has encouraged us to become more uh, uh, active in finding ways how to uh, how to serve our clients better so they've they've guided us in this leadership and we follow this leadership um, so would you say that's also one of the ways that your company maintains its leading positions especially with such a challenging market definitely definitely I mean we continue we continue to find ways always of how to support our clients with the best quality in this market the market is going up we change our strategy to serve our client the market is going down we continue moving forward and finding ways how to support our client and this and being bringing a family owned private business has always helped us to have a very fast decision making process to match the requirements of the market um, as you mentioned, the market is always fluctuating and currently there's been an increase in the oil price. So could you just elaborate briefly on how this affects your business? Well, simply new projects have been launched. So uh, the, uh, the industry, the oil industry has always been like this. We are, our, our business is purely correlated to the UAE and the oil and gas price. So uh, whenever it goes up, we've always seen trends within our business of going up. And whenever it goes down, we go down along with that. And as you can see, as soon as the prices went up, the, the uh, oil and gas producers saw some stability. Immediately, we saw some budgets and projects being launched immediately. And that has been uh, the usual practice. The only let's say touch that's on top of that is that now it's more, much more exciting because now you can come up with great ideas you can come up with nothing is impossible and nothing is uh, nothing is answered by saying the word no no is not there anymore whatever ideas we have you will find listening ears to support you to develop this idea um, finally can you just give us your outlook on the market for 2019 going forward I think uh, 2018 has been challenging. 2019 is still going to be challenging, in my opinion. But uh, in terms of uh, volume, there's still going to be good volume to secure better than what we secured in 2018. And uh, moving forward, I think for the next five years, it's going to be a great opportunity for the whole oil and gas industry. And uh, for everyone who is working uh, uh, smartly, agile, and uh, bringing the best solutions for their customers. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today and wish you best of luck with all your future endeavors. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.